Hi guys, and welcome to our Dead Island Riptide playthrough. I am Ninja Misty, and with me, as always, is... Ninja Andrew on the count. Oh my god, what are you doing here? Okay. <laughs> There's zombies, man. What oh are we doing? Oh my god. See, I don't know how I landed up here, but it has something to do with Ninja Andrew, so we'll just blame him. Please. What we're going to do is we're playing this through for the first time, except we actually did start the first little bit. I'm going to record it for you guys. We had some audio problems, but we barely got into maybe, what, like chapter two? Not yeah. far at all. So we're going back through and going to break it down for you guys as we go. So now I'm going to turn it over to Ninja Andrew so he can give you a little bit more information. Sweet. So uh, I guess the only other thing is that uh, this playthrough is going to be a little bit more relaxed than what we did with DCUO. So uh, let me just put the warning out there. Aside from this being a zombie game, which is going to have obvious, uh, you know, violence and gore and all sorts of fun stuff like that, uh, we're not going to be watching what we say so much with this playthrough, just to sort of keep it as a little bit more of a genuine experience and reaction video, per se. So, uh, viewer discretion is advised. Yes. That's all I'm going to say. If you have a weak Boom. constitution, or if you're easily offended by language, proceed with caution. <laughs> yeah, man. What are you doing watching Dead Island Riptide videos? Seriously, anyway? what am I doing here? <laughs> You'll see me running around a lot, hiding behind and Andrew, so... Let's, except in this first part. Oh, my God. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to start this up. We're going to hit play. When you start your game, uh, just always press square to check your online options and make sure that you have the, the setup the way that you want it so that it's basically so that either you have public slots so that people can join your game or you make it private so that only your friends can join your game or however you really want to do it, just... Make sure that if you don't really want to be playing with extra people who are going to come in and, you know, maybe steal your car and run off and do something stupid with it, you might want to just make sure that it's as private as possible. So that's the way to go with that. And then we're going to start here. That's our old game where we didn't get that far. You can see, you know, 10% on the main in Chapter 2. So we're going to go ahead here and hit New Game, which will allow us to select our character. So uh, basically... There are four characters from the original game here. You have Logan, Perna, Jan, and Sam B, as well as a new player named John. Uh, just to quickly go through them, uh, Logan is a throwing knife or throwing expert. He uh, has stuff like uh, auto retrieval of thrown weapons and aiming at multiple enemies and stuff like that. Those are his like uh, special attacks. You also got Perna here, who is a firearms expert. She has access to more ammunition and uh, can help uh, buff uh, groups. You've also got Jan here, who's good at basically uh, keeping, staying alive and doing lots of damage with bladed weapons. She's a bladed weapon expert. You've got Sam B, who's a blunt weapon expert. Uh, he gets some extra moves for like knocking enemies over or taking them down. Uh, and he's, like, fairly strong, so it can take quite a bit of damage. And then you've got John, sorry, who is a hand-to-hand -hand expert. You can see the weapon he's got in his hand there. And uh, looks like he's got some nice uh, innate skills like faster weapon learning and chance to avoid death and heal instead. So maybe more of a bit of a more tactical player that would be something that you're interested in that would be good to go for. Uh, for myself... In all my Dead Island playthroughs, I like Jan for the bonuses that she gets for bladed weapons. Just epic combos and survivability with the healing bonuses and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and choose her. Before I do, once I select her, uh, basically it's going to ask me to uh, choose a preset skill type or choose to do a custom one for myself, I'm going to do custom so that I can choose where the skill points go once we get into the game. So that's what you're going to see me go through here, and then we're going to start basically once we hit that. So once you're ready to do that, just let me know. I'm ready. We'll okay, so selecting the character, selecting new game, selecting custom, Okay, so you ready? 
Oh, I hit it. Let's do it. Okay. There we go. It's all good. It'll go. that naval vessel just in time as we were just about out of petrol we couldn't believe how lucky we were to find it on the safe way. Get your hands off me! What the hell? What is going on here? Ugh, get off me! Uh, get it off me! Get it off! It was with the cops. Sorry, but I can't take any chances. My orders are to take you into custody and transport you to a secure quarantine area. And who the hell are you? Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Hardy. Don't resist and you'll be fine. You just need to be sure you don't pose. Yeah, we know threat. The dress on the north. You have any idea what's happening back there? We have an idea. We're hoping you can help us fill in the details. <laughs> Especially her. You keep the hell away from her. Frank Serpo. I should have guessed. Are you the one in charge of this clusterfuck? Watch yourself with this guy. This freak would sell out his own mother. If he had one. Take the immune down to the lab. Two others will come with me. Do we look like goddamn Kenny Pigs to you? I'm a citizen of the USA, man. I got motherfucking rights. Back off, Serpo. You just stay out of it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Don't do that again. One less immune won't make any difference. Now take him to the lab. You may have command over Pelanoi, but on this ship, I'm in charge and I have my orders. Your orders are to follow my orders, Colonel. Would you like me to call your superiors?
Sweet. They have a very high tolerance, Mr. Serco. I've already administered three doses. So how much longer? You said we'd have results by now. Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Just be careful. We don't want them dying on us. What about the native woman? Yerima? That's a more complicated case. He's being taken to another location. Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye. you here to spy on us. <laughs> right, that's one beat to shit like this. It's all part of my cover. So, they tested you too? Yeah. I'm guessing they're trying to figure out what we're all in. How'd you get it? I was a soldier before the shit hit the fan. Part of a huge humanitarian search and rescue operation. And then that civilian arrived. So, right. Suddenly, the military was no longer in charge, and the rescue operation was called off. So what are they up to? All I know is there's a naval blockade around the entire archipelago. No one's allowed in or out. Whatever the fuck is going on, there's nothing to do with humanitarian efforts. That's pretty clear. Christ, I'm still woozy from these bloody drugs. <laughs> So you're good? I'm through the... yeah. <clears throat> the first part? Yeah. So we just start moving out, right? Uh, let's set up our skill points. Ah. Uh. So you want to hit select, guys, and go over with R1 so you hit your skills. Um, do you set yours up differently than mine? I do. Okay. So, like, do you want to explain yours? You go ahead with yours, because I've got to remember how I had them set up. Okay. So, basically, my the way that I pick uh, what I want to do is by going down to the bottom and seeing what the, the skill is that will be available for each of these trees. So, with Fury... Fury lasts even longer and is more devastating. Blade Master has a whole bunch of effects plus a special attack. And Surgeon General makes med kits more effective. Basically, because this game is designed to do more than one playthrough, the combat one is going to be more useful to you off the bat, then Medic, and then the Fury at the end, so that you're even more powerful by the time you're getting up into the really high content of this game. So I'm going to start with the combat tree. Just to start it off at the top here. This will make me stronger with blade weapons. And unlocks a special attack. With R1 while I'm aiming at an enemy's head. Okay, so then we've also... Get, that unlocks three more that we can pick from here. Basically... Um, I'm going to go with ones that unlock uh, special attacks as well as ones that are going to benefit me in combat. So Flying Strike has three levels that I can unlock and I'm going to spend my points to unlock all three of those. As you can see, jump attack damage plus 99%. That is a huge bo bonus to yourself right off the bat in this game. Uh, then we're also gonna, I'm also going to do uh, perform 
uh, powerful wide attack while sprinting. That's instead of these other ones. That Basically, these other ones are just like innate stat bonuses. They don't actually give you any sort of bonus move or ability. So that's why I'm going to go with all of these that improve my combat skills. This is another one that's going to unlock a special attack. So you can, I can now do the stomp on a fallen enemy, plus follow up with an R1, as well as here, I'm going to keep going with the, the ones that do something aside from an innate type damage bonus. I'm going to go with the one that increases bleeding duration. The reason for that is because it's pretty much good against all enemies using bladed weapons. Uh, against them. So I'm also going to do here instant kill chance with a blade weapon. I'm going to buy all three. And that's the end of my skill points, but the next time I level up I'll be able to buy that one at the very bottom for an extra special attack and it's like a higher level ability. So that's basically how I start loading out a character. Do you want to explain yours? Sure. Okay, some of it's similar, because under the combat tree, I open up with Blade Fighter. Then I go down, this is where we start to differ. I do Flawless Blade, and I do Maintenance, and I do all three on... So Flawless Blade, hold on. Flawless, flawless blade, blade increases the damage that I do with my weapon, and Maintenance increases the durability of my weapon. Oh, nice. I should get that soon, too. And... Then I'm going to hop over real quick. I'm going to come back to combat, but I'm going to hop over because I open the survival tree because I don't want to die. There you go. <laughs> Always a good plan. Yeah. So the first uh, spot under that makes the med kit more effective. And then I go down to vampire and I open up two under that, which gains me stamina for my kills. And That's definitely a good one to have and something I'll be working towards getting as soon as I can as well. And then I open Spectre, and it's the first one under there. That way, they run for Ninja Andrew because he doesn't have it, and they're less likely to see me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what your secret is. <laughs> and then I actually go down to the nice. third tier because when you buy three skills, at least three, it opens up the next level. So I buy the first level of lock picking. Um, That's good. So I'll we'll come give you up the boxes that I can. For sure, because we come across so, that in the beginning. That's right. And so then I have two skill points left over, and I think I'm going to put those into the flying strike like Ninja Andrew did. So nice. I won't have all three levels yet because I only have um, two points to spend, but that gets me almost there. Yeah. So that is done. <laughs> Sweet. So you spent all your points? Yes. Okay, nice. Okay, so that's just, you want to spend your points out however you'd like to spend them on your specific character as well, uh, because they're each going to have their own individual trees based on their weapons, and you want to sort of select things that are going to help you out with the various things that you're about to see us go through here. So okay. I'm going to head out uh, and... You always want to look in every room that you can for objects that you can pick up. I'm in the next room with the flexible hose. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm also going to check this next little room here, because I know there's some other stuff. So there's a clamp. You went Those are... Yeah, I went out into the, the hallway with the two little rooms off to the side. Okay. Basically, those items that I picked up are crafting items that you'll be able to use to improve all sorts of, uh, all of your different weapons basically with different kinds of uh, mods or modifications. So things that will turn them into some sort of a torch blade or a spiky baseball bat with nails, you know what I mean? Like everything that you do sort of makes sense. So you're never going to be like wondering how they do that or what pieces you need. It should all make sense to you anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and keep moving on. And as you can tell, you press square to open the doors. That's right. Pretty much everything. Square is your activation. You can crouch with the uh, R3 button if you need to. I haven't gotten anywhere that I need to use it yet, but I think I will momentarily. Yeah. 
And as you can see right now, we have no weapons, so that's, that's awesome. Right. Well, I wonder if we can we can swing our fists. Hey. So, Get back, combat, everybody. <laughs> combat in this game is going to be between your main attacks on R1, and then also you have a kick attack with L2. That's going to be like your bread and butter. And as we can see to our left here, <laughs> with this door that we cannot go through, that's right. Something not good has happened. Awesome. Sweet. I like your assessment of the situation, Mr. Misty. You like my fine forensic analysis. Boom. Lots of not good stuff happening up ahead here. Sweet. Uh oh, I need to find a weapon. Okay, so I take it you've already crouched through here with the steam and. Yeah, I'm I'm ahead in the next room. Just taking a little look around. You know there's a cool looking... It's a pipe. I should be able to pick up the pipe as a weapon. But the real weapon they want us to grab is, of course, this crowbar here. So I'm going to take that out. Dun, dun, dun. Give it a few test swings. So you guys can see. So you're basically, like, very similar combat style to something like... I guess like a Fallout or even especially a Skyrim where you're using a lot of one-handed. So uh, you're basically you are literally trying to hit them w within the arc of that swing. There you go. Just scared the crap out of myself with my own shadow. Look. There you go. You're gonna hold square to fill up that bar in order to open up the door. Did you say there was a pipe to pick up in here? No, I wish that you could, but you can't. Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, where? Kind of Just secret the, uh, yeah. Okay, so here in this next room, like, to turn on and off your flashlight that's down on the D-pad, runs on batteries. You can see up in the top right corner. I have until the battery runs out to find my way through whatever area it is. So it should give you quite a bit of time. And then you want to turn it off so that it recharges. You got it, Captain. L3 to Brent? That's right. So, you can toggle. It's not like you have to hold it and sprint. You can actually just be pressing forward, click it, and you'll start running. Just for future reference. Okay, so you want to always check any type of container to see if it has loot. That will be useful for you. Which container did you check? There's up ahead, once you go into that, there's the one with, like, the cupboard. Sure, I the went locker. through the end. Yeah. And I'm in the next area, the next room, looking at the crafting table. For sure. So we're not going to actually be able to do anything with this right now because we're not a high enough level and we don't have any mods to make with it. But basically, like, you can come here and do stuff like repairing your weapon. Not that it needs it right now, but basically, yeah. So, like, when you see them in the future, that's what you need to pay attention to. And you can see on the mini-map, it has that symbol of, like, the crossed wrench and hammer. That's how you can tell where the next closest one is, because they are going to be fairly useful to you. So we're going to keep going. I went, I'm going up the stairs to deck two. Yeah, I'm all nervous. Sweet. You know what that means, guys. Oh my god, it's a zombie. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Because there's nothing that uh, you'd rather do than be on a sinking ship that's on fire. Sweet. With a bunch okay, of so the way you want to do this is 
go to the side where the ladder is. Click Use Ladder, uh, because sometimes when you jump off of heights, you like might snap your ankle or something like that, which would kind of suck. Or you might just plummet to your death. That is also correct. So just going through till you find the other ladder. I'm going ahead to climb that. Oh god. And I'm going to turn off the gas flow here. There we go. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear yet, but... Uh, they're out there. They're out there. They're very happy that you just gave them a direct line to you. <laughs> Sweet! They're like, awesome, there's no more flames. Now we can get to our food. Great. Oh, God. I'm so hungry. <laughs> there we go. Hey, guy. You, you don't want to... You want to come and get some food? No? Okay. So, as you can see, I'm just going to kick this guy in the face. Like yeah. <laughs> Pick your enemies to put them on the ground. And once they're on the ground, take them out with shots to their vital areas. Oh. Or just get hit. Boom. Oh. You just got taken care of, son. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Alright. The jump kick is also, like, it's stronger than a normal kick. See you later, homie. Watch your stamina? That's also correct. Stamina will pop up in the bottom of my middle of my screen there, that blue bar. That indicates how many more swings or kicks. Kicks will also affect my stamina. So you want to wait for that to come back up sometimes. I'm going to go through the door that's on the left side. And like a good zombie killer, make sure you loot the body. That is right. Unless you've knocked him accidentally over the railing like I did. Sweet. So you're going yeah. to the left? I went to the left, but remember, uh, there's a friendly zombie here just as soon as you go in. What? Where? Uh, right to the left. In the left corner here, I can just see his foot sticking oh, yeah. there. There he is. Hey, buddy. You want to be my friend? Oh god, yeah. Oh god, yeah, and behind you. Oops. So just picked up a weapon there out of that crate. Just checking, he doesn't have any loot, but we've got a couple more zombies in here, so... Just go slow, there's no rush. And kick everything. If it's laying there... Yes. Yeah. Assume that it's going to jump up and, like, bite you in the face, so... And pick up any weapons that you find, because everything is useful. You may end up throwing stuff at people, or needing to have a replacement weapon if you've broken something, so just... It's easier to drop weapons that you don't need, versus not having weapons that you do need. There we go. Okay. Pick up your That's all cleared out. Got one more friendly zombie at the top of the stairs here. Oops. Okay, buddy, sit down. If you need to change your weapons out, you hold R2 and it'll pull up the circle menu if you need to take a look. That'll put your three best weapons right in at the beginning, but then you're going to have to select which ones you want as you go. I'm sure that I'm not gonna... Hey, guy! Oh, God. Yep. Oh, um... Oh! So, that's only mildly disorienting. <laughs> you can see there, I got a special attack off on the enemy. When they're down on the ground, we can see if I get an L2 on his head. Let's see if I can get one here. Oh. Yeah. You do a stomp attack. Basically kills them in one shot, but you have to have, do that when you have, like, the... 
the ability to, you can't just bust that out right in the middle of a bunch of them, because they'll still be able to attack you. You grab like the heavy pipe here. The cleaver. And there's also have the you, cleaver. Yeah, have you gone in? Um, well, let's go in and say hello, hello to the, the zombies here in the, the cafeteria. The cafeteria. Hey. Yeah. Oops. I accidentally switched my weapon to the police baton. There we go. Ah, uh, crowbar. Boom. Oops. And there's sodas on the table that you could drink if you need to replenish. Any of your health, yeah. Always make sure that zombies are dead. Mm, oh. oh, refreshing. There we go. So I went back into the kitchen to pick up the heavy wrench, so I'm sure you're at a different spot than me. I went to the other side of the room. Okay, I'm just kind of working my way around the cafeteria line. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Oh, the battery for my controller is down. Alright, so, uh, some other weapons in here. You've got the, the wrench and hammer and the toolbox on the table. I'm also just... switch up my controller real quick. Okay. Good to go. There's, I think, a couple more zombies in here. This guy. Ooh, he's got some alcohol. Won't be useful oh, to us right after that. Oh, you got another one. <laughs> you got this guy on the ground here in the back of the kitchen, too. Oh, God. That scared the bejesus out of me. You know? Oh, my God. One more box back here in the kitchen where you can pick up another uh, weapon. Okay, I think I have everything in here. Me too. I'm just heading out that the, the door from the cafeteria out into that hallway to the next one. Yeah, I'm so gonna... loading up on energy drinks because I need to be over caffeinated. There you go. Sweet. Alright guys, so... Uh, sweet, some running zombies. Oops. Oh! Oops. Hey! I'm loading my foot in my crowbar. Apparently I switched my weapon by accident again. And I just beat the crap out of them with my fists, so... Boom. They just knocked me down. All about timing those attacks, guys, to get them so that you can keep them all down on the ground and then have the advantage to attack them. Okay, so I'm going to go slow here, just because there's water and zombies and I don't want to get ambushed. We can't go in this side. So oh, it's further up that we go in. There we go. Okay. Make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna go on each of these side rooms and make sure that I loot everything. Not so much because we're gonna be able to use any of this stuff, but I'm sure that there's feats associated or um, achievements associated with uh, looting them. So, or challenges or whatever they want to call them. There's something. And you'll see that it's popping up periodically. Your progress towards certain things. That's right. Woo! Hey, buddy. Last room. Just watch yourself. You know? He's hiding behind that... the edge of the door. Am I hiding where? Oh, God. What? The last room in that long hallway. Before it, like, becomes, like, fences and stuff uh -huh. that you have to go. There's a guy in there. 
I don't want to know that. Switch. Oh, I don't want to switch. That weapon does way better damage. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to show you guys, like, going to my inventory. I'm going to drop a lot of this stuff right now, just because you don't actually need all these weapons to drop anything that sounds weak. And then I'm going to make sure that I only have like one of each type of weapon. As well, I'm not going to hold on to uh, blunt weapons. You can see here that uh, these are basically the three weapons that I'm going to stick with. Crowbar, just because I do like having a crowbar, but these are the two best weapons for me right now, so I'll just... So what are you dropping? Basically everything, really. Uh, but I'm, what I am going to do is equip the... Uh, Okay, I can't equip the kitchen knife yet, but I'm equipping the, uh, the cleaver. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a kitchen knife. I, I think I got it in the cafeteria, but I could be wrong. Oh, just accidentally healed myself. There you go. Like, I could grab that wrench, but I don't need it. Right, here we go. So now I've got a cleaver which will do slicing dicing action. Let's just wait for them to come to us. They can sometimes be lurking under the water, so just be careful. Just gonna look around. I don't think there's any items on the sides, but I do think that there's a med kit here. So, oh, hey, buddy. Did you repair at the workbench? I guess I should do that. Okay. So I'm just going to repair all my weapons. And you can see like the actual visual on the weapon has now gone back to the way that it was. Sorry, I want to pass it. But Let there. me repair my crowbar. It's a Do you not have enough cash? Nope. Ah, uh, dang it. That's okay. But my crowbar is only at 26% effectiveness. What other weapons do you have? Brass knuckles. B baton cleaver go with the cleaver and like whatever your other highest weapon is by damage you know what I mean watch out for more zombies I just kick him through the floor? Epic. I am a beast. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't like spring up out of nowhere in a chat. Hey buddy. Oh no. Making sure there isn't anything I gotta activate on here. So whereabouts are you? I'm in the room with all, uh, like, the waist-deep water. Yeah. Are you at the one where you have the door? I haven't gone the through the door yet. I okay. took up the med kit off the middle, the blah, blah, the middle, where yeah. the two, I'm getting ready to go through that door in between the two big schools or whatever those are. Okay, just remember about that guy on the left. Where is he? He's on the left? Oh my god. Oh god, yeah, he's on the left. Jesus. <laughs> um... Yeah. We'll say on the first playthrough, he scared the holy crap out of me and <laughs> possibly killed me. <laughs> Life good to remember. I confirm or deny nothing. Sweet. 
Okay, so I'm just up ahead a little bit. I'm gonna open that door. And go up the ladder. Oh, hey buddy. You wanna be my friend? You'll find that I like to chop them to bits to make sure that they're dead. So. <laughs> there you go. That is actually a good strategy. Hey, where did you come from? Are you hiding out oh, like someone, buddy? Just be careful. I went through that door and there's one in one corner and then one came up behind me from somewhere, you know? Yeah, one did me too and almost killed me. I'm okay. heading up the ladder to get out of there. Or just like, maybe it'll spawn more on me. Alright guys, so up at the top of this ladder you will encounter your first firearms in the game, which should be a pistol, some ammo, oh, jeez, that blows. What happened? When you go up, like, get outside of the door and go to, like, the left or something, because I got knocked down, and I got knocked all the way back down the ladder. I almost died there. Take some health. Boom. Grab another med kit. Okay, so grab as much of the ammo as you can carry. Uh, you can only carry a certain amount if you want to check. Go in your inventory, you can see on the right side there. Got 50 out of 50 pistol ammo, 60 out of 60 rifle, and 20 out of 20 shotgun. So I'm full on ammo. I do can pick up here though another shot or a shotgun and some lemon juice. Grab a, hey another med kit. Why the heck not? Okay, so. I'm just going to go ahead here and I'm going to load up those weapons. So I'm going to keep I'm going to keep the crowbar. I like the crowbar just for combat. But I'm going to put the shotgun and the pistol in for this next section. Oh Jesus! Really? Oh, okay, good. There we go. So you can see up in the corner there it says I've got uh, 15 out of 50 on the pistol. Let's see if I can reload the shotgun as well. Six out of eighteen, so that means I can pick up a couple more. There we go. So now I'm fully loaded out with my weapons. I'm going to switch back uh, to the crowbar actually for this next little section. But uh, we will be using those uh, firearms soon. Did you get all of that done as well? <clears throat> I did. I'm just loading my weapon um, ammo, you know. Perfect, yeah. Okay, so once you're finished, you basically want to make your way around the ship. I don't know if you can see them yet, but we've got some more zombies here. Having a snack. <laughs> yeah. They're always so hungry, man. <laughs> oh no. Just do your best to sort of fight them off as best you can. Better to pull back and retreat so that you can get some more stamina to keep attacking them than to just stand there and try to take them all on. Always make sure that the corpses are dead. You know? Oh, and check all your boxes, because you never know when you're going to come across something. There we go. And if you have to, you can take the Ninja Misty approach. Just run around this little square thing in the center. <laughs> until you your stamina rebuilds. But I didn't have to do that that time, so it's all good. Ooh. If you ever hear that sound of, like, the one of them yelling as he runs at you, just... Be careful, those guys are like a little bit tougher than the regular zombies. Okay, so I'm heading up a little further here now. Sweet Jesus. Oh God.
I'm gonna back it up here a little bit and fight them on the stairs. Oh, nice. Yep. When you get one up on you like that, oh no, he took a bite out of me. We gotta hit L1 and then R1. I'm actually gonna... Bust up the old shoddy here. To handle these guys. Enough of their shenanigans. Sometimes it's easier. I back all the way up to the stairs because it's easier to kick them down, like kick them and it knocks them down the stairs, and then you have time uh -huh. to chop one up while the other one's trying to get back up the stairs to you. I could almost do it, but they were eating me. Well, that's not good. Yeah. It's always a good sound when you hear that, like, zombie roar. I'm gonna fill my health up, even though this section will be fine. I'm gonna go ahead here and just, uh, take care of business. Before you pick up anything out of these boxes, you have to take right. care of these little dudes. Hey guys! Oh, buddy, no, no. Hilarious. I chopped his arms off and he's still trying to bite me. So you just want to remember that, like, jump kicks do way more damage. Try to use those when you can instead of just regular kicks, you know? And also, like, it's just a little tip. Don't worry about using your ammo up for the section of the game. I won't tell you why right now. Just don't worry about it. Go nuts. Okay. So for here you're gonna crouch underneath this to go underneath the boxes and jump up on these ones. Let's see There's more other ships, so this is the way they want you to go. And you got some more zombies hanging out down here. And this is how I like to take care of them. Hey guys. It's fine to drop down there. Grab your stuff and just make sure you take out these guys if they're around the corner here. Going up the ladder? Yeah, let's do it. Just gonna play a little cutscene. Well, that was nice of him, wasn't it? The sea was angry. <laughs> yeah, now. All right, guys, we got zombies incoming. They've given us a rifle. Try to take out that one that looks ugly as soon as you can. If he's gonna blow up if he gets close to you. <laughs> He'll also blow up and take out a bunch of his buddies 
if you get them fast enough. Okay, so what you're left with here, I believe, yes, this is a thug. Thugs are at a higher level than anything we faced before. Uh, they can take quite a bit of damage, so you just want to treat them with a uh, little caution. You can uh, take off their arms and legs, or well, you can take off both their arms and they'll still keep trying to attack you with by biting you, so... Or headbutting, kind of like headbutting and biting you. You know, I like calling them the Black Knight. Like the Black Knight from uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, because it's very similar to like, oh, it's just a flesh wound. I'm going to keep coming for you. There we go. Okay. So just loot all the bodies. Okay. There's also back over here by the crate, a bunch of ammo if you need anything. Another shotgun, another pistol for me. I think sometimes there's a rifle. Where was um, that? Back behind? Yeah, you know like back where the uh Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab that stuff. I don't think we're gonna actually use it, but just to have it, just in case something goes wrong here horribly. But I'm gonna go I can see there's two more guys on my map. They seem to get stuck down here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out. Yeah, leveled up there. But so I guess we have a skill point to spend, right? For sure. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go back up on the main deck. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna go into my inventory and Okay. So I'm gonna press select, go to skills. And I am going to spend that one skill point on my blade weapon, blade master. So this will give me uh, access to the jump stomp, which is a more effective version of the stomp attack, as well as um, a move uh, where I can instantly kill enemies with uh, L1 and R1. So both of those make you super effective. I'm just going to switch back to my crowbar here. So you ready to go up further on the ship? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go up the ramp there. Basically, you can go down the stairs here. You can go along there. There's nothing, so we're going to go up the ramp. You're on the right-hand side? I'm on the left-hand side? From, like, when you're looking at the big door? That gate is closed to me. Are all of the guys dead around you on your map? Is there anywhere where it says, like, there's a little red arrow up or down? Did you have to go back down the steps? To the, to the right side? Okay. To kill some of them? Are they down there? I think that's what the problem is. Yeah, kill those guys. Those are the ones that I took out. Once you've killed them, you'll be able to go back up to the deck and then go up along that left side. Okay. So I'm just I'm just heading up there now. I'm just gonna show them like what's up ahead and then we'll come back and go up that ladder, so it's all good. So basically, like, once you get up ahead here, uh, up the ramps, the, you're back with this guy. He wants you to, like, go in and, like, kill these guys. And you could go in through this door here, but, uh, 
Or he might be able to. I don't know if he can. Because what Misty and I did was we came back and we went up this ladder. How far away are you from there? I'm going to the left side right now. Okay. Once you get up to the top of the ramp, just go up the ladder. I'm climbing it now. Give me one second. Or you could show them up ahead. Show them, like, you know what I mean? You're confusing me, so just hang on a second. Okay. Yeah. I need to drop some of the stuff my inventory has gotten crazy. Okay. Okay. So on the left side, where you want me to go straight ahead or up the ramp? Uh, up the ramp. Okay. Okay. So they've got like there's they could go up straight and try with that guy, or they could go up top. There's nothing down on the other side here. There's a ladder that you can go down, but uh, there's nothing down there. So we're going to climb the I'm up at the top. What's that? You're at the top of the red ladder? I'm at the top of the red ladder opening that, getting ready to open that door. You know what I mean? Sure. So you've killed everything out here? Yes. There we go. And don't worry, guys, like, it'll get easier once Missy and I are able to meet up, which won't be very long from now, so. I'm sorry if I've confused anybody by going ahead or explaining stuff. Oh, oh, I fell down. Whee! Hey, buddy. I like the cut of your jib. The jib of your job. Oh, this captain's no joke. Jesus. Oh, you're good. You and the captain make it happen. There we go. Okay, well, I'm just going to stay up here and wait to see if I see the captain. There you go. See, what you should have done is not what I did, which is wait up at the top here and just shoot down at them because they can't climb up the ladder. But uh, I fell down, so you know how that goes. Well, and I'm not seeing the captain yet, so I'm just... Yeah. Let's see, if I... see, if I talk to this guy, it's going to finish this off. So should I just wait? Well... I mean, it's really your call. It's kind of... wouldn't make much sense. If you're I'll just wait here and look at the awesome ocean. Oh my god. Well, I guess I just need to... It's a perfect storm. Should I just go down and fight the captain? Because he's not walking around. Oh. There you go. <laughs> the sound of the captain coming into view. <laughs> well, no, see, that's just that... This is the plane it. theory being proven accurate once again. There you go. You and your complaining. I think I'm shooting the captain in his captain's quarters, actually. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sweet. Well, he can take a beating, can't he? Hey, little fella. Sorry. But I'm going to have to shoot you in the head. Nice. Let me check here. See what I can see here. These green... Uh, labeled weapons, those are better uh, class than the other stuff that we've got, so just for reference, so they're going to be color-coded throughout the game. I think it's green, blue, 
purple orange. I could be wrong. But Where did well, you it could be orange purple, but Where did you pick up a weapon at? Uh those were those were from earlier. I was just going through what was in my inventory. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna open the door now? Yeah, let's hit that. Oh my god. This guy's gonna kill us all. Well, at least we don't have to escape this crashed sinking ship. That's right. It's a nice little brief period where we're apparently asleep or unconscious, and then... <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it here. Are we going to leave it on the beach until... Yeah, yeah. It's really not safe here on the beach. There's an infection. Some sort of plague. Not again. The whole island's on the so It's spreading. We'll talk later. Right now you need to move. Head for the Paradise Survival Camp. Look for the big tree house. You'll find other survivors there. Take this. In the meantime, I'll see if anyone else washed up on the beach. Okay, guys. That's the survivor pack. That's part of the uh, bonus for getting the game early. So that came with a code. Gives us a mod for our weapons. And this is where we're going to be leaving it till next time. You can see the ship out there in the distance where it crashed. And uh, some of the not survivors of that incident, I guess. And then, uh, basically, like, all of your inventory is now gone, and you basically just have uh, the basic weapon that she gave you, and maybe the barbecue blade if you um, have the pre-order, so, or the code. So, Basically, you're back down to nothing, and this is where we're going to be starting it out next time. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the prologue, and... For sure. Yeah, join us for more epic zombie ninja -ing in our Dead Island Riptide playthrough. Uh, like, subscribe. Follow, do all comment, fun stuff. thumbs up. Sweet. Yep, we'll see you next time. Yep, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.